Y'all probably say, where exactly are you going with this? I see you really trying to take it there. Old school flow, chew you out, ain't fair, Jordan Pairs. Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy in the desire back at you, y'all. But anyways, you know what I mean? Before I even get into what I'm about to talk about, because last time I did a video was on uh, mental health and as far as like dealing with bipolarism and the, and, and the fact that people do actually suffer uh, uh, from what you would call a disease or some people call it a lot different, but I call it a disease because it's something that it inflicts you. It may not inflict you physically as far as like, well, physically, yeah, but as far as like anything on your skin, but mentally, it can be uh, weighing. But anyways, before I even get into that, man, shout out to Fly Money ICB. Dude got at me at the real way, you know what I mean? He got at me. We talked. I got his backstory. Last time I just put his music out before, but this time he really wanted to get at me and just, you know, pick each other's brain and the fact that he respect what I was doing and seeing that he's on the other side of the fence as far as, like, you know, what we run, you know what I mean? But I, I, I respect dude's hustle and the fact that he did get at me and, and, and actually chop it up and ask me, you know, he didn't even ask me to put his music out. He just like thanking me for the last time I put his music out and, and, and homies actually went to his channel and checked him out. You know, he ain't no blood, he ain't no crip, you know what I mean? It's just, it's fly shit, you know? But anyways, so I decided to do that. Now there's other cats that get at me and they, they don't even say nothing. They just shoot their music and that's it. They ain't telling me to check it out. They just shoot it and be like, put this out. I'm not going to do that. No, no disrespect, but if we ain't running the same thing, I'm not just going to take your stuff and put it out there unless you actually verbally get at me and we come to some, uh, 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 you know, conclusion as far as like, hey, you know, can, can you look out for me? Because I'll look out for anybody uh, except if you're a bitch, you know what I mean? Or you're lame or you're 2-5 or something like that, then you get no love. But as far as just looking out to put your music out, I'll do that for you because it is nice to see everybody come up, black, brown, white, whatever, you know what I mean? Get your money. But that's besides the point what I want to get into. Some dude has seen my last video on mental health as far as bipolarism because a lot of people feel as if they uh, don't want to speak on it because they make it they they think it makes them feel like they're weak or something. But I'm I'm here to tell you, man, that shit don't make nobody weak. It it makes you strong to be able to go out and get help. Be worrying about what another individual feels about you as far as the, what you deal with mentally. Uh, it so what you know what I mean. As long as you ain't behind them walls, you know what I mean? Because, you know, we all know behind the walls, it, it's a different uh, issue, you know what I mean? And when politics and stuff come into play, but that's besides the point as far as with our car and a few other cars. But what he wanted me to speak on uh, is anxiety. For a lot of people that deal with mental health, you also deal with anxiety. Anxiety is one of them things can be mild or it can be debilitating and it can also cause death. You know what I mean? A lot of people... Uh, you know, we, we've all had anxiety. I've, I, I have it all the time, you know what I mean? Not all the time, but usually when I'm about to go to sleep because I'm thinking about so many things. That's the thing with people that are bipolar. It's like a thousand things going through your head at once. Now, as far as anxiety, I get it to the point to where, you know, you get the rapid breathing. You know, your heart rate is, it, it, it feel like it's about to beat out your chest. You can't stop thinking, so it, you're tossing and turning, unable to go to sleep. And that, and that, and most people will see that and be like, not most people, but a few selective people will see it and be like, oh, anxiety ain't nothing. It's, it's nothing that can really hurt you. Uh, I'm going to be straight out. Anxiety can kill you. When you got a mild case, it's like, you know, you you got a test coming up. You know, you're feeling anxiety because, you know, your post is racing because you don't know if you're going to do well. You really want to do well. If you're in college, sometimes it's a lot more severe because you're really focused on winning. And, uh, you know, not not winning, but, but doing well in your test because you're trying to accomplish something. And that within itself uh, can, can mess with your life. But there's other people that... Uh, suffer from more extreme cases of anxiety. I'm talking about the ones that is so uh, severe that it, it causes them to pass out. Some people are so in their head and their pulse is racing so fast they start to get clammy uh, and they, they end up passing out. Some people don't only pass out. They It happens so much that it starts to become taxing upon their heart. And that's the reason why, uh, you know, it, it's good to bring uh, awareness to that. Because a lot of people, you know, they, they, they kind of take it like, like I had a pass. But in a lot of cases, if it can be helped as far as like medication, I'm not saying to rush out and take medication and aid the big pharma and all that, you know what I mean? But it's just like if you uh, come to a point to where you're, you're really unable to focus, you know what I mean? Because it's, it, it, it got you all over the place. I, I would recommend going to get help for that. And like I said, I'm no expert. I'm not here to preach uh, uh, 
anything. I'm just telling you uh, what this dude wanted me to talk about and seeing that I also have anxiety every once in a while. I'm I'm kind of like an introvert. I tend to by myself, you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm happy just kicking it by myself and that's not being institutionalized. It's just me uh, being the person that I am. I, I, I focus, I, I uh, mess with certain people and there's a lot of people I don't mess with. There's a lot of people I would never trust and that's just the way life is. But as far as anxiety, anxiety can... Uh, it interfere with a lot of things. It can interfere with your sex life. It can interfere with your work life. It, it, because if you figure, if you're having severe cases of anxiety, a lot of times you're going to be unable to work because just a, just due to the fact that you're going to pass out. Uh, a few people I know uh, have had strokes due to anxiety. Some people have uh, died from heart attacks that I knew just due to uh, how how it how. Uh, strong anxiety can come on some people are constantly having uh what they would call uh panic attacks but i'm not here to uh, differentiate the the difference but i know people that have extreme anxiety and uh they're unable to work they and there's nothing they can really do about it because they're having these episodes so much that what what can they really do it's like you can go to work with this with with these symptoms and you can end up passing out and hitting your head I know some people not that long ago that just passed out uh, from from extreme cases of anxiety. Uh, but like I said, there is help for that. I, I, I ain't going to get too far into it. Like I said, I ain't no expert. I can only speak from my experiences and watching other people go through it. And, and, and it's sad because, like I said, mine's, mine's is a, uh, you know, hold on. Hold that thought. All right, I'm back. But anyways, like I said, my son had to get out the shower. You know what I mean? It is movie night. Uh, about to go watch that new Terminator, but that's besides the fact, like I said, I'm not no expert on anxiety. Somebody asked me to speak on it, seeing that uh, I've mentioned before that every once in a while anxiety does plague me as far as like when I go to sleep. Uh, I know, I know this, you know, people tend to want to flock to the videos that are more about violence and things that I've been through, you know what I mean? Which is crazy because there's some things coming up in my next video that, I mean, I don't know, it's, it's so weird to really speak on it as far as like, why it happened and just the circumstances of it and just you know it's it's one of those videos like i said there's a lot of things i want to cover but that video in particular i think is going to be a little bit more insightful as far as to like what happens on a daily day basis and you never know who's watching and whatever like i said it's it's always happening to your boy Zab. but anyways like i said anxiety is one of those things that are debilitating it can kill you it can cause you to have strokes it may make you faint you know what i mean a lot of people that like i said have uh suffer from that you you feel type of clammy a little clammy maybe a little cold your heart rate is just beating out your chest and 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 it, it almost feels like i don't know it's it's weird it's a weird feeling for anybody it's, for me it would be hard to describe because i've had uh different uh steps not not steps so far step i mean like stages of it, you know what I mean? I've had it to where it's like, ooh, you know, to where you feel like you're about to have a heart attack. And I had other ones where it was light, you just couldn't sleep. And, you know what I mean? But like I said, I'm no expert. And this video is not to proclaim me to be an expert on it. It's just somebody asked me to speak on it. And for the people that have uh, suffered from mental illness, I'm sorry in my last video I didn't say if you did need help or something of that nature, I could... Uh, put a hotline if, if that's what you need. I can put a hotline to uh, suicidal, uh, you know, a suicide hotline in, in the uh, description of this one or the next one. Just let me know in the, in the comments. There's been a few fools that come to the comments. For the most part, it's been real good. I haven't seen no negativity. Uh, I don't know. Somebody might have mentioned something about estrogen levels or something, testosterone or something. I don't know. Uh, it really had nothing to do with it, but... You know, like I said, I take everybody's uh, advice into consideration. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to go by it, but, you know, because everybody, uh, when they deal with their issues, they deal with them differently. So things plague people a lot differently than they plague the next person. So nobody can really uh, say theirs is exactly like the next person, especially for people that have never suffered from any type of mental illness. It's not, uh, you know, I mean, it's nothing bad. I mean, it's 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 messed up that you have to deal with it, but there is help out there. But as far as anxiety, like I said, there is help. There is people that, uh, there is medication that you can take. But I'm just going to let you know for the people that might suffer from, like, I think it's hyperthyroidism or something along that line. I'm not too sure because, you know, you have different levels of that. 
uh, some people it, there you can't take certain medications like it, it it it'll kill you. You know what I mean? It's just like certain people that got uh, certain levels of thyroid. You can't drink coffee because it, it it might kill you. Some people. It's just it's funny how that that disease affects people in a different way. So I'm not uh, recommending medication to anybody that's uh, suffering in that way because, like I said, when it comes to thyroid, hyperthyroidism, I know absolutely nothing. Uh, about that except a few people that I knew that had it but like I said don't mind me that's just my gameplay in the background you know what I'm saying I had to switch to destiny like I said but yeah for the most part I just want to talk to my audience and let them know that I do this into what you say I do try to uh keep the content consistent but I'm not gonna just talk about violence 24 7 if especially if, if I'm not in, in, you know uh, around I mean, you're always going to be around violence, but not participating in it. So there's no real need to speak on it unless, you know. But like I said, I got a few things coming up that's kind of crazy. You know, a lot of people that, that uh, are in social media might know exactly what I'm talking about. and just the circumstance behind certain things. And you never know who's watching. But anyways, that's my take on anxiety for the people. Like I said, there is help. People need help. Get at me, you know what I mean? I could drop hotlines, you know what I mean, for you to hit up. You know what I mean? And hopefully people really take heed to the fact that there is people out there suffering. You know what I'm saying? And just because you're a gangster don't mean you got to be gangster all the time. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got to stay ready, but you ain't got to be a gangster all the time. And for the most part, that shit is played out anyway. You know what I mean? Especially for the older cats that's been there and done that. It's a, it's a new era. But like I said, uh, that's basically my take on it. Hopefully you enjoy what I said. Might have been all over the place. Like I said, I'm no expert, but... You want to enjoy the rest of your night, I'm your boy Zod, and I'm out. And that's destiny. Kneel before Zod!